Told you, too open. <laughs> too open. The good players still can get it done. Yeah. We're looking at Derek Alston, number 21 for Boise State defensively. Kind of looks a little like Brandon Ingram. Yeah, he does. Look very thin, long. As Jefferson slashes in and gets the basket. His arms He's 185 pounds now as R.J. Williams Hoffman Alston pass misses. Davion Mintz with the rebound, pushes in transition. Great job by Boise Ty getting Sean. back in transition. Though. They got matched up. You think Gottlieb says, I can only go left, I'll go right. He came back to the left. He right. came back with the left he hand. He is abusing done. Jefferson. <laughs> Payback. Payback. 23 versus 23. I like it. Yeah. Two turnovers early for run out dunks. But they've, they've settled down. Those are pick sixes, though. You can't give away free yeah. pick sixes. As Damian Jefferson coming right back against that zone. They're pick sixes in that sense, but pick six, sixes in foot in classic, right? Yeah. One on one down the block. You don't see that. The game has evolved so much. Oh, nice. <laughs> Damian Jefferson from Davion Mintz. Moving on up to that deluxe apartment in the sky. Jefferson. In the year coming in, we're threes. They want him to line them up. Mentioned trolling in the low post, big seven footer. Nice. Wheels, deals, lays it in with his left hand. You know, and if you're not going to double him, and, and now they will. Boise gets Malik Harwell in the game at the point. This is Tyshawn oh, Alexander to the hoop. And that's what I talked about at the top his ability to go up and down, downhill, off the dribble. And then finish in traffic. Take a look. They ISO him. They clear out. The nice best thing. moving screen. And then nice smooch off the glass. Well, you pointed out. That's Froling who just he's going to stabilize himself. Zach Haney gets a little hook shot for the bucket. Transition drag screen. And Coach Rice thinks Haney has a chance to be one of his best players. And Damian Jefferson again Man, with the man. N1. Jefferson just collecting buckets. Inside five feet. Yeah, right. Two guys on the block. Look now, there's five guys, not right. one of them are even thinking about posting up. Caleb Joseph, the Syracuse transfer. It was gladiator action right there, boy. Bang, bang, great, bang. Great balance, though. Yep. We mentioned Chandler Parsons and his development. That's part of what this program's about. Nice job, Martin. The lefty junior college prospect. Not much of a defensive effort. <laughs> Zagorowski steps into one. Man, you gotta love that freshman. I love him. Confident, cool, collected. Bucket. He continues oh. to lead by four. He had him on this skates, is Damian Jefferson. He's just joining us. He's been a one-man wrecking crew for Creighton in and around the basket. He had Wacker on skates, but he didn't take advantage. Oh, it's moves. That's y'all. Connor, tell me before okay. those are no you big, know, those are no big three deal. Pick sixes, then three pick now sixes in the first half. <laughs> the Fitz magic is gone, right? And this is a big one for hey. Jefferson, who steps into one. That's got him downtown. Zagorowski back wheels, deals, snakes, and flexes. Now, there's a story of the first half. It's this man, Art. right? Yeah, certainly. But when the Pack are good, they are the only show in town. Here. There he Zagorowski is. with a step through. Great anticipation there. And Great awareness. Yeah, and the ability to keep Dickinson on his back. And he finds Alexander for three. That's his body, so he doesn't. Yeah. Just as Dickinson tries to steal the ball from behind, yep. he just turns his body at the right moment. And because he did that, that actually created the shot. Yeah because he protected the ball, and the guy that would have been guarding Tyshawn Alexander is now no longer available. Alexander, buckets from downtown. Umps on the ground. Well, they could not have played that better, but are unable to intercept his, the His team's got to come up with that loose ball, right? And they, they dug it out, they got him to lose the ball, and it turned out to be an assist for Haney. Zagorowski steps into buckets. one and nails it. What a first half. Yeah, and, and what a freshman. Doesn't look or act like a freshman. His 11th point, his second three. He also has two assists.
in just 13 minutes, and the Jays take a seven-point lead in the waning seconds. The early hoop ball buckets around the hoop, but it also had Boise State with a couple steals. There's Damian, maybe on Mintz. That soft part of the zone, it's interesting that the guards didn't collapse. I mean, he even took a dribble and paused before he shot it. The guards never dropped back. Got to get below ball level. Haney turns it over, trying to find Jessup. Up. And Jessup with the steal, doesn't get it, gets it back to Tyshawn Taylor. <laughs> Tyshawn Alexander, excuse me, who steps into one. And, and you know, into a shot, a challenge three that he misses, and off to the races of the Jays. So throwing them towards your own offensive basket, Correct. no matter what. Correct. All yeah. different angles. Yeah. I, and, and that's Those very are, unique. Are I don't know a lot of people who practice yeah. that. You talk about it even with the practice it. Wow, that's amazing. And Balick drives in, misses. In and out. And off to the races of the Jays. Vince drives, finds Balick, who steps into one. Dribble penetration just kills a defense because the defense has to collapse to stop that guy. And when you do that, spot up shooters are going to snipe you from downtown. Well, Mince makes one. And Mince, who struggled in the first half. Yeah. Marcus Zagorowski can. So now you need someone to flash right there in the middle. So now they had two. That was wrong. Bad, bad timing. Now, do you like flashing guards in there? Uh, actually, no. I, I like to flash a, a four that is capable, a Draymond Green type that can nice make plays. Nice pass from Jefferson. The no look yeah, that was to nice. Froling. Drop him off at the bucket. Damian Jefferson. Jefferson just drives into the heart of the defense, looks to the side. And that is a great drop off Jessup right is there. late getting there. And the underrated part is Froling circling underneath. It's very he switches true. from, look, he's on the right, he's on one, right side to the left side. Yep. And now Haney can't recover, doesn't know where he is. Froling catches and keeps it hot. He's got the mismatch. Gets Haney on him. Help comes. That's Kicks it to Balik, oh. who knocks into three. And that was a tough shot because the catch was practically out of bounds. Then he was able to bring it back into play <laughs> and then stroke it. His you teammates see. recognize it. Alexander, Tyshawn Alexander with the rebound. Finds Jefferson. And Jefferson me. looking inside, finds Ballack. Ballack skip pass to Mintz for three. Splash. That's automatic right there, man. When he's got his feet set. The ones he's missed is because he hasn't gotten his feet set. But the catch and shoot is there all day for that kid. Man, I don't know what kind of mango to the freshman checks back in playing with Davion Mintz. Mintz. Drives, kicks off to Zagorowski, fresh off the bench. That was probably blocked. Gets his own rebound, kicks it off to Mintz, who's hit two this half. Misses, and Mintz gets his own board. The second offensive rebound in the possession for the Jays. Creighton's just been quicker to the ball. And a pass, and Epperson lays it in. And instead of uh, misses, Zagorowski pushes. Zagorowski to Ballack. Ballack, that's Tyshawn Alexander. Splash. Every time Tyshawn Alexander's feet are set, success. And when he's on the move, he struggled from three. But man, has he gotten some great looks thanks to. They don't have the experience, they don't have the facilities. But if you're a kid that someone's going to pay six figures to, how much coaching do you need? You're already developed. You're just really trying to fulfill. You're trying to tick a box saying, so, I can't come so, to the NBA for so, a year. So you don't think that. Zion Williamson was learning anything from playing for Mike Krzyzewski. Uh, I'm saying he could contribute right away. Here, here's my thing. Why make a rule for, should you hold those guys back? Because you're talking about two guys. You have a system that benefits 99% of the people. As men, but he can come back to do. All right, we'll get back to this during the next break. Let's get to, well, let's catch you up on, on the action as Creighton continues to lead by 18. Oh. As Zagorowski finds Epperson and one. You gotta love the runaway Jays. Yeah, you gotta love that trailing it here. My, this is my favorite pass as a point guard. You look drop over your shoulder, yes, sir. And just drop it to the big man. Reward the big fella. Uh, John Stockton, right? Dropping that thing off the car Malone, but he put his hand behind his head right, and you, hammered that thing. You hear the gallop in behind you, and he's about <laughs> trailing. You just drop it so off. So you don't even him. see him. But you, but you have to do it at this end if you're Boise. And he stops and good shots. What a great pass. Oh. And one. That doesn't help. Feels like a dagger. Ball, man. <laughs> hey, coach, now use all five. Yeah. Got it done today, coach. As Creighton downshifts, brings Jefferson in. 
who lays the ball in. Creighton's taking their big men out of the game. But a heck of a win for the Creighton Blue Jays. They're going to close it out 94 to 82. There's Tyshawn Alexander with 18. Damian Jefferson with 16. And Marcus Zagorowski, the freshman, 14 points, four assists, six rebounds in just tw 23 minutes of work. As the two men exchange handshakes, Greg McDermott. Two good coaches right there, huh? Two good coaches, two good programs.